life doesn't come with a manual. It comes with a mother. A mother understands what a child does not say. When you are looking at your mother, you are looking at the purest love you will ever know. Mothers hold their children's hands for a short while, but their hearts forever. Mom, your love is a mystery. How can you do it all? You're always there with a perfect fix for my problems, big and small. Your love protects me day after day, so I'm fearless, safe and sound. I feel that I can do anything whenever you're around. Mom, your love is a mystery. I haven't got a clue why you love me all the time, but I'm very glad you do. I can't imagine a world without good mothers. There is no role in life that is more essential than that of motherhood. According to Ellen White, who is also a mother, as mothers, we are responsible in a great degree for the physical, mental, and moral health of our children. The mother is queen of her household. She has in her power the molding of her children's characters that they may be fitted for the higher immortal life. An angel could not ask for a higher mission, for in doing this work, she is doing service for God. Her work is for time and for eternity. The mother's work is given her of God to bring up her children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Mothers, to a great degree, the destiny of your children rests in your hands. If you fail in duty, you may place them in the ranks of the enemy and make them his agents to ruin souls. But by a godly example and faithful discipline, you may lead them to Christ and make them the instruments in his hands of saving many souls. So being a mother is no easy task. It's a sacred and holy responsibility. You play a crucial role in molding your child's physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. So, you are not just a mother. You are a mother. You should be proud. And for us, who still have the luxury of having our mothers around, what is your response and responsibility? Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also and she praises her. Honor her for all that her hands have done. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. And when you do, make sure that your mothers can still see, hear, or feel it. You see, people often give a eulogy, tributes and praises to their loved ones who passed away as to how good they were, or how much they mean to them, and how much they care, love, and adore them at their funeral or at their grave. Sure, that is a very nice and sweet gesture. But the problem is, some people don't say those nice words while their loved ones are still alive. An unknown author said, when I die, don't come to my grave to tell me how much you love me and how much you miss me because those are the words I want to hear while I'm still alive. So, what are you waiting for? Pick up your phones and give your mothers a call. Or even better, pay them a visit now while you still can. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! This is Delfred. And this is Zine Amber. Reminding you to take the Bible as your weapon of choice and keep the faith. And if God is with us, who can be against us? This, this is Take, take the, the Talk. talk.